Hey guys, I am at the Wander Writers Retreat with all my lovely friends over there who are all authors. They're either self-published, traditionally published, or working towards getting published. Some of them even want to be hybrid authors. And so I wanted to ask them a few questions of why they chose the publishing route that they want to or have chosen. And so I'm gonna give you a little sneak peek so that it can help you guys decide what route you might want to choose. My name is Bethany Atazada and I'm an indie author. Um, I self-published almost three years ago now and I have maybe six or seven books out so I definitely am loving it. I think it's fantastic if you're willing to put in the time and energy and know that it's a slow build um, and if you love control it's fantastic. If you love to figure out things for yourself and make choices for yourself. If you'd rather have somebody else make the choices for you then probably traditional publishing is fantastic because you get to just do the writing and focus on that, um, which I wouldn't be averse to. Maybe someday I would do that as well. But yes, indie publishing for the way. Hey guys, my name is Holly. I am unpublished, um, but I would like to go the traditionally published route, um, and that's just because I am not like a type A person who wants control of everything, and I feel like I couldn't do it all by myself. Um, and so I want like a team of people behind me that know what they're doing that can help me get my book out to more people than I think that I would be able to do by myself. Hey guys, I'm Kate. You can find me at Kate Cavanaugh and I want to go a hybrid publishing route, which means I want to be traditional and into yourself published. And part of that is like genre specific reasons. Like I write romance and I think that it just excels in the self publishing area. And then I also want to write young adult and contemporary and like mysteries. And I think some of those work better in the traditional route. I also um, have thought about basically like determining if I'm going to write a series versus like a standalone and that kind of sways my decision on if I want to do self or traditional. So yeah. Hi guys, I'm Savannah J. Goins, the author of The Guaythinian and it's a self-published book and I decided to self-publish actually just because it sounded like fun to work with and to find an editor to work with and you know interview different cover designers and find a cover designer to work with and I've just really enjoyed um, finding the different freelancers and commissioning character art from different people and it's it's so fun to do that. I also do want to be traditional published as well. My biggest author bucket list is I want to have a book that I can see in all different languages that you know in all different countries with all different covers so I really want to have like the international rights go all over the place so I can have a bookshelf with all of my different versions of my book so that's something I would really like to do also. Hi I'm Brooke Passmore and my voice is dead and my YouTube channel is by the brook in case you wanted to stop by there and I am wanting to actually self-publish my books so far at this moment I think it would also be nice in the future to maybe do a couple uh, things that might be traditionally published so kind of hybrid sort of thing and the reason why I'd like to self-publish would be because I just like the freedom I like the choices that you're able to go so many different routes and not have anyone else have a say in it that you kind of are like not in favor of doing and whatnot we're at the airport and <laughs> and so yeah I just kind of like the freedom of doing whatever I'm wanting to do with my books and stuff and also because it would be nice to have my books out faster because whenever you traditionally publish most of the time it's a little bit more like year spans almost sometimes whenever you're trying to get your books out there so it'd be nice to just kind of have it ready for the public sooner hi guys I'm Keelan Rivers and you can find me at Keelan Rivers um, in terms of what publishing road I took I took the self-publishing route. Actually, I have a book coming out August 31st. All the King's Traders, find it on Amazon um, and Goodreads. But I chose the self-publishing route just because I figured all the time that I could put into querying and finding an agent could actually go into marketing or into my book. And I just thought that was more efficient using my time. So that is why I chose that route. Hi, I'm Jenna. I'm from Jenna Streety. And I'm choosing the traditional path because I would prefer to have a team of publishing uh, know-how awesome people to work with rather than being sort of by myself and doing everything on my own though of course we have the amazing girls here so you're never actually really by yourself so that's good but more more help would be appreciated hello i'm mandy lynn and i currently have three novels published and two nonfiction books published and they are self-published right now and i would not be against doing a hybrid publishing but i'm very much of a control freak um, so I'm open to the possibilities and I think I'm just going to play it by ear with each book. Um, but for the most part, self-publishing and again, I'm a control freak. Hi there, I'm Evie Driver. You can find me online on Instagram and Twitter at Evie Driver. And I'm actually self-publishing my debut novel called This Savage Kiss, which is a new adult dark romance and I'm very excited about it. 
The reason why I'm self-publishing it is because if you walk into any bookstore, you might notice a lack of new adult uh, sections. So as of right now, at this point in time, new adult isn't really a traditionally accepted genre or subgenre or whatever. So uh, now, you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and make my own path self-publishing. Hi guys, it's Destiny. Uh, I'm at The Fat Author on YouTube, coming very soon, and the same on social media. I am hoping to traditionally publish, uh, basically because that's just what I've always wanted to do, and I really just want to be able to walk into an indigo and you know, see my book on the show. I want to meet tours and meet all a few amazing people. So yeah, I guess that's my answer, traditional. Hi everybody, my name is Brie R. LeClaire. I um, write YA fiction. Um, I have a book coming out called Beacon Field. It will be releasing this fall. It is a YA uh, paranormal thriller and you can find me on Instagram. I chose to do um, self-publishing and the reason why I chose to do that is because I went to school and studied marketing and entrepreneurial studies. So I've always wanted to own my own business and I thought that this was a really good way to combine my love of writing as well as my passion for business. Hello everyone, my name is Meg Latour. I'm from the YouTube channel, I'm Writerly. I'm also on Instagram and Twitter. And in answer to Brittany's question about what publishing path have I chosen, I have not published yet, but my hope is to be a hybrid author. The reason for that is I think there's a lot of great sides to being both a self-published author and a traditionally published author, and I would love to kind of have the best of both worlds. Specifically, I want to write adult science fiction and fantasy, which I think would do really well in the traditional space as well as the self-publishing space. And I also want to write romance, which obviously does well in both spaces, but I think predominantly in self-publishing it could do really well. And it's all about what you think would be best for you. Hi guys, my name is Jesse Elliott. I am the author of the Twisted series. I am currently a self-published author and I chose that route because your girl likes control. I wanted to be able to have my say in cover design, editing, formatting, publishing date, all that fun stuff. However, I would also love to become a traditionally published author, thus making me a hybrid author because I would love to experience both sides of the the publishing routes and I think it would be cool to kind of maybe possibly get an agent and see what that would be like to working with an agent and a team at a publishing house so we will see what the future holds and if you want to join my journey you can follow me over on Instagram at author Jesse Elliott hi everyone my name is Carrie and you can find me online on Twitter at Carrie Weeks and my approach to publishing is kind of a little bit of a hybrid. I have two different books I'm jumping between. One is a young adult fantasy novel and one is a new adult 80s paranormal. And the fantasy one I'm definitely going to attempt to do traditionally. I think that would be awesome. That's kind of the traditional dream of most writers. So I'm going to attempt traditional with that one. But my 80s paranormal, because it's new adult, doesn't really exist very much in the traditionally published world. So that one I will be self-publishing as soon as it's ready. Hey everyone, my name is B. Douglas. I am a paranormal romance author of those two books right there. They are the Afterlife series. You can find me on Instagram or my author site. I decided to go ahead and self-publish those books, mainly as a way to prove to myself that, hey, I can write a book and I can publish a book. Once I branch out a little bit more and get a little bit more experience under my belt, I do plan on trying to branch out and traditionally publish. But right now, that's what I do is I do self-publish and it works great for me. Hey guys, it's Brittany again. I loved everybody's answers, but I wanted to throw mine in at the end as well. Right now I'm working on my fairy fantasy book, which I've just revealed the title as On Wings of Ash and Dust in a previous video. And I did talk about my publishing plans and a bunch of other goodies in that video. So I'll link it below and in the cards. But just to answer the question real quick, I am looking to traditionally publish because I would like a lot of help, but I also really, especially for my first book, would love just a little validation that I'm headed in the right direction, that my writing is good, that my characters are strong, that this book can be successful. And a lot of people in the traditional world just have a lot of experience. And I think whether I hear back from agents or if I enter a mentorship program like Pitch Wards or Author Mentor Match, I just feel like all of that would be super helpful. I'm just a person that always wants to grow and always wants to learn. Though I would love to learn by pursuing the traditional route first. And then if I get feedback that, hey, this book is good, your characters are strong, but the book isn't right for the market right now or an agent 
agent says, I already have a book like this. And those are the blocks that are keeping me from publishing. I would definitely self publish. I feel like I have a ton of friends and resources at my fingertips to be able to do that, to get this book to you guys a lot faster. And to also have that control of like, if I want a sequel, I can definitely make that happen. If I want the book to be longer than a typical debut novel, then I can make that happen. If you want to find out even more about my book or any of the authors and books you've heard in this video, definitely check out the description below where all the links always are. And if you want even more writerly videos like this one, definitely check out one of these two videos and we'll see you there.